There are a few common methods used to repair broken PVC pipe. In a previous video, I demonstrated a repair with a compression coupling, which is a quick and easy way to make repairs without using primer and solvent cement. Today, we'll look at another option for repairs using an expansion coupling. Commonly referred to as a slip fix, this fitting telescopes allowing you to extend the repair coupling into place. Because the length of the repair coupling is adjustable, exact measurements are less critical when cutting out the section of pipe to be repaired. The Landscape Products ProSpan model is available in sizes from half inch to four inch. It has dual O-rings to provide a better seal even when it's not fully extended. The piston only needs to be extended a minimum of one and a half inches to provide a good seal. To illustrate how to make a repair, we've set up this simulation on our countertop. When making a repair in the field, dig the hole deep enough and wide enough to give the pipe some flexibility on each side of the break. This will make it much easier to line up the two ends of the pipe with the repair coupling. To make the repair, you'll need a slip fix and a slip coupling of the same size as the pipe you're repairing. You'll also need primer, solvent cement, a pipe cutter, and a marking pen. The first step in making the repair is to turn off the water supply. Then, attach the slip coupling to the piston end and use the slip fix in the compressed position to determine where to make your cuts. Center the slip fix over the break and make a mark with a pen right at the edge of each side of the assembly. Cut out the damaged section of the pipe, making the cuts as straight as possible. Remove any burrs and clean both ends of the pipe as needed. Now go ahead and install the coupling onto the slip fix. Use primer on both the slip coupling and the piston end of the slip fix. Next, apply the solvent cement to both fittings. Push the coupling into the piston until seated. Give it a quarter turn and hold it in place for a few seconds. The patented locking mechanism on the ProSpan makes this much easier as it prevents the piston end from turning when the unit is fully compressed. When finished, wipe off any excess cement. The next step is to apply primer and solvent cement to the opposite end of the coupling and to one end of the pipe that you're repairing. Go ahead and install the coupling. Make sure that it's fully seated, give it a quarter turn, and hold for a few seconds. Again, wipe off any excess solvent cement when finished. Follow the same procedure on the opposite end of the slip fix repair coupling, opening up the piston as needed to complete the repair. After giving the solvent cement time to cure, turn the water back on and check for leaks. Finally, be sure to flush out your lines to remove any debris that may have gotten into the system. Another option for making this type of repair is to use PVC lock fittings, including the flexible repair coupling, slip fix, or coupling. Both options include push-on style fittings that do not require primer or solvent cement. An internal O-ring creates a seal while the stainless steel teeth prevent the fitting from coming off the pipe. The nice thing about the flexible coupling is that it allows you to easily make a repair where the pipe or fittings don't line up very well. Be aware that these options should only be used on cold water irrigation lines with operating pressures of less than 150 PSI. To learn more about the products that we've used today, including the PVC lock fittings, stop by your local Ewing branch or visit us online at ewingirrigation.com.